Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Melanie Souffle. Welcome back. Welcome back. No, seriously, guys, I appreciate you guys for coming back. And as you could tell on the title page, this is my second month update on my skin. So we're just going to get started. And it's not going to be a long video. I promise you guys, I'm trying not to talk as much. So here we go. I just been continuing during that period of time, which was like from March 15th till I want to say to the beginning of April. I was using the same product, so if you haven't um, checked that out, it's um, go on my page and look at my morning routine and my night routine, and also my um, my one month update. And I'll be a lot of information of what I use because I didn't really change during that course of time, so. But after a while, like I said, after like the first week of May, I was just like, okay, let me just um, search for a new night cream. And as y'all know, I was not a fan of the Aveeno Intensive Night Cream. And I was just like, all right, I'm over this. Let me just get another um, night cream, whatever. So I was just searching and I came across Earth to Skin. There, they have many lines and the line that I picked was the uh, Honey Manuka. And uh, as y'all know, if you don't know, the Honey Mamuka has a lot of benefits towards the skin. So it's just like, all right, cool. So um, when I bought it, it's like I said, it's a good price. Got it from Walmart. And the consistency was like honey. Like it was like that stickiness, but not as sticky and kind of heavy. So I was just like, okay, let's try it out at night, of course. So I put it on. And then the next day, I my skin looked good. And it was a little bit, like a little bit of a grease on it, but not as like heavy but i couldn't see <laughs> like my eyes had just got like some gunkiness and i thought it was like my allergies so i kind of like brushed it off as that but each day i just kept using the night cream and each day i was getting like like foggy sight and i'm just like this has to be this night cream and usually when you put on your like any cream any type of cream on your face you usually try not to go up as high on your eyelids because the skin on your eyelids is so thin that it doesn't necessarily need it on the eyelid because it will travel up so if you just put on your cheeks that moisturizer will travel up to your eyelids so that traveled up to my eyeballs and around it and that's why I couldn't see so that was a that was a miss so I was like okay let's try again and during that time I started doing sheet masks so I was just like okay I was I used to do it back in the day and I totally forgot about it so I was like let's revisit it and I got the Neutrogena um their face mask their hydro boost mask and that mask is so bomb y'all like I will keep it in my drawer like I will continue to buy them because the first time I used it I didn't even moisturize that night like it was that hydrating that I didn't feel the nut like I didn't really feel like I needed to so next day my skin was bomb so i was just like okay let's just visit their line because they had a whole line that i didn't even know about until i was talking to my cousin about it so um i saw that they have their hydro boost facial cream and it's like a gel consistency and just and summer is coming up so my skin gets really oily in the summer time so i was like all right let's just go for it since um it's it's we're approaching summer soon and it hasn't been really hot but still when i put it on at night it is so like my skin feels so supple you guys it's ridiculous and then when i pair it with that i pair it with i need a new night serum because i wasn't using bio oil no more i stopped doing that y'all i know y'all probably hype about that <laughs> but i started using this other serum called i think it's called um la roger pousse so I'm like from orange is the new black pousse <laughs> but um their vitamin b serum and the consistency is pretty like it's like a sticky i can't explain it. it's kind of sticky and when i pair those two together it's like i don't even know it's like jesus on the cross like it is beautiful <laughs> like it is like i don't know how to explain it but it's just like it feels so, my skin feels so good after that so um I just started those are my new products for the night and then in the morning I was um, running out of my belief of uh, gel cleanser aqua bomb gel cleanser and I didn't I wanted to use something else because I kept hearing about this brand called peach and lily their cleanser and y'all when I use that I didn't think I washed my face I felt like I put lotion on like it didn't strip nothing like none of like my skin felt so soft 
and moisturized. I was I was literally confused. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, you know, maybe it was just, I don't know, something in the air. Try it again, the same results, y'all. I'm like, oh, peach and lily, that's it. Like, I like belief, but it outweighs belief, y'all. Like, on some real, it does. So I was just like, we're gonna add this into mine. And once I get to like none and I need to re like rebuy it, I'm going to rebuy that one. So um, with my day, day cream, I ran out of that. It was my fresh um, fresh rose um, hydrating moisturizing cream. And I, I I did it to the bone, like it was so good. So I'll, I'll definitely get that in the winter time again. But I wanted to get another um, gel cream. And I heard about this product called Clean and their grapefruit um, face moisturizer. And it has a faint scent of grapefruit, which like I said, is really, really faint, guys. And it just, I don't know, it's just like everything that I've been doing so far, not counting the earth to skin, but it's just been like really moisturizing my skin. And I'm just like, pat myself on the back like, yeah, girl, you can just get <laughs> so uh and i pair that with their their also their serum their papaya vitamin c serum and that has like i said their their products are really legit clean like they don't have any of that alcohol and preservatives none of that they don't test on animals they're a really good company so um their, their serum it has a light scent of papaya if you know papaya like that scent is faint and i put that on my skin and it just like slurps it up and i'm just like okay sir we are on the wall right now like we is killing it in the game right now <laughs> so and of course in the daytime i still use my um the beach shield uh crave their um sunscreen so um I don't think I'm going to trade that in for another sunscreen. That one is it. Like, I like that one. So it's not nothing that I want to change. But for the most part, you guys, that's it. So I'm just continue um, using those products. I'm still, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm still using the Ordinary Peeling Solution. I'm still doing that. I need to do it today, by the way. But um, I'm going to try to do that at least twice a week just so that I'm getting, like, Rid of those dead skin cells on a daily type basis and um i did hear about the ordinary they have this like mud mask kind of thing where it shrinks your pores so i think i'm gonna um i'm gonna buy that and see how that is i'm trying to just see if i could just eliminate my acne on that level i know i need to change my diet which i will but um excuse me but um yeah so that's the most part that's it you guys so um at the end of this video, I will have a side-by-side -side picture of the one that I put uh, March March 15th and I put it with April 15th. So around that time, so you can see the difference from the first month into the second month. So like I said, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Got it.